Promise 9 and Card are back. Both groups haven't had a comeback in over a year and I'm extremely excited to check them both out. Promise 9 released their new single with the title track Supersonic yesterday and Card came back today. We're going to be checking out both music videos here today. I'm very excited for it. Let's get straight to it. Now I must be honest enough to tell you that I'm not too deep into Promise 9 and one of the main reasons for it also being that unfortunately I just haven't really been um, frequent with the releases. I think it's been over one and a half years since their last comeback last year. I think the fans and the group themselves had to basically beg for a comeback. It's really unfortunate because I remember the few songs that I've listened to them from and when I went for the discography by myself I really enjoyed what I was listening to. So let's not waste any more time and check out their newest music video, Supersonic. I've already heard a portion of it on Twitter. It sounded really good. Let's check it out. No, forgive me, I'm unfamiliar with the tips. I've heard them in there, but I can't tell who's who. But yeah, I already heard it's a bit of a groovy, even retro vibe. A deep register with that flavorful beat. Mm. Ooh. That synth is smooth. That's what I heard. That is tasty! Oh, and these! That's a sick shot, but... That chorus is amazing! And like mentioned vocally, I really like this as well, because I remember a lot of their previous songs. Very bright and high. This much more mellow, much more soothing. Visually, obviously, they're all stunning. I've seen the water bomb clips, you know, like. Oh, but this mm -hmm, sound in the chorus is so good there. That part here, oh, what a vibe! It's a fantastic summer sound, without necessarily being a summer song, you know. This is such good K-pop. Hey. I said like this. The comeback took a while, but Woo. Wow, okay, that's oh. whoever had the idea with those water fountains in the background. Fantastic visual right there, but that was so smooth. As I wanted to say, the comic took a while, but wow, is the music video and title track that's coming out of it right now amazing. Okay, um, this is like just from the whole production to the sonical delivery, something that like mentioned fits the summer season so so well, but doesn't feel like a sound that I would only listen to during the summer or that feels too restricted. Like mentioned, the previous songs I've listened to them were more the higher register and were a bit more bright and bubbly here and there, and to a point where I would even say a bit too generic to fully catch me. Supersonic, on the other hand, is very mellow, very smooth, even sultry to some degree, and just manages to 
enchant me a little bit, okay? That chorus sound is generally the verses and even the pre-chorus, everything in here is just vocally so, you know, it just really soaks me in, it just really catches me really, really well. Um, because I'm just generally not the biggest fan of two high registers, deliveries, and this song is just, from the wave, it's riding on just so my vibe, okay? It's really really crisp the, the instrumental is smooth as hell and like mentioned that synth in there is so nice and comfortable to listen to it's such a comfortable song it's catchy it's comfortable it has a good vibe to it it stands out it doesn't feel too you know too typical too generic this is excellent this is excellent now the music video is it's fine. There's some cool shots in there. Obviously, they like mentioned look incredibly stunning. I see their water boom clips on my Twitter timeline all the time. Yeah, you just can't get around them. But that chorus. Oh, that chorus. <laughs> ah, that long drag vocal there is. Exquisite. Then. This is gonna get a lot of loot. I can tell you so much. And. I like mentioned, did go through the discography at one point. Um, but I think I really haven't streamed them that much yet. Okay, like I really haven't. I remember going through it like once or so, but like, not that much. Oh, only 76 streams in total thus far, which makes a total of around 3 hours, which is like mentioned for a, for a more of a casual listener, not that bad, even though like mentioned majority of it comes from just listening through the entire discography once. I definitely gotta revisit that at one point. Either way, this right away, just amazing. Okay, this definitely right away is going to be getting a lot of listens, I can tell you so much. Um, Supersonic sounds amazing, and I remember checking out the highlight medley for the rest of the album as well, and that also sounded very, very good. So, Promise 9, it took a while to get this comeback, but damn, it seems to really, really deliver, and I hope it's a good sign for even better things to come, because again, I, I see the fandom, and I see the members themselves always on my timeline about, you know, them like... They just want to release my music, they just want to do more than their company allows them to. So I really hope that this gives, gets a positive reception to the point where that will now happen. Promise 9, Supersonic, that was amazing. Let's move over. Card is a really interesting case personally, because I've only done one card reaction on my channel thus far. That was two years ago when they had their um, comeback with their fifth mini album um, where we had checked out two music videos alongside the comeback title track uh, Ring the Alarm. Other than that I had not reacted to card on my channel at all and I didn't react to their comeback last year Iki, um, which is now their most previous comeback which is over a year ago as well so it's really been a while since card had their comeback. Yet, despite only having reacted to those three music videos, Card is actually um, in my top 30 most listened to artists on Spotify with nearly 2,000 streams. Okay, Iki landed um, on like 200 streams last year in my top 30 or so. I remember being obsessed with Good Love, which came from Daddy P, which is nearly 400 streams. Ring the Alarm, also nearly 300. Whip, also nearly 200. And I, other than that, also just went through the entire discography and found myself loving a lot of songs. Uh, Red Moon, Hold On, Into You. So Card, while only having reacted to them once on this channel, really, really grew on me offline. But just listening to the discography, I found them so unique and so enjoyable and i wish we had more co-ed groups out there and if there's one thing or like basically one artist that really really deserves a first win it's them and i really hope that this comeback can do that for them tell my mama is the name of the title track I already listened to the highlight medley which sounded really promising so without further ado let's check it out card tell my mama <laughs> The all blonde look. Champagne for breakfast, kiss as good night. Playing my horse drinks so not I'm alive. Cool. Watch and there's always on time. 
Oh, Chi Woon Summon sound amazing. Oh, that is entrancing. What a start. Where are we going, though? A big bouncy fun pop sound without sounding too typical. The air, one of my favorites on Twitter. I love his tweets, he's such good vibes. I remember that line from Icky Man. I love watching reactions to that. More than a turbo. He ends verses every time, but. Man. Some energy would sound extra exquisite on this one. My goodness. This part actually in the chorus and instrumental gives me actually a bit of flavor from Ring the Alarm and Good Love. It's summery, you know. Days left. Love the music video, by the way. It's very statically. Wait, does it mean that up until this point, it was basically only English? Didn't even realize. Jay's is such a unique rapper. I always like how much personality and uniqueness he brings to his clothes. Oh, but ah, oh. so damn tasty. This sound is so tasty. If that makes sense. Was nice and also long unless that part of the intro is not part of the actual song which i actually wouldn't be surprised about if that's the case because like mentioned it definitely feels not necessarily disconnected but you can definitely you know it's different from how the rest of the song actually turns out to be um what a nice song okay it's very very you know different from some of the previous releases because like when some of the previous star tricks were rather heavy rather explosive more of an event type of feeling and i think that's generally something in k-pop that you can say is you know that some releases are more meant to be just songs or just fun music while the others are supposed to feel like events yeah and that's what i often feel like with blackpink or you know with many other groups as well where the title track just feels like something you know like a movie in some way, from the music video production to the sound and the explosiveness to us. And Kark had it as well back then with, with Gunshot or with Red Moon, you know, these big explosive sounds. Then we had also stuff like Ring the Alarm, which was already more vibey and, you know, more of a different direction. And we, like, mentioned that last year, Icky, which was also really, really good, by the way. I really, really enjoyed that song. Um, and now we have Tell My Mama, which is tasty it's exquisite it's both visually and sonically both very summery but also not too restricted to being a summer song and just has a very very flavorful taste to it okay from summon and jiwoo's vocals to bm's no it is actually around slang so this part in the beginning will actually be on spotify too hell yeah love to see that 
Seeing a 3 minute 35 talent drag in this day and age in K-pop. Rare, but appreciated. Um, and yeah, this is this is nice. Okay, like mentioned, the vocal line sounds so nice. BM comes with a really, really tasty verse around the corner. And JSF, like mentioned, one of the uniquest members in K-pop, in my opinion, in the best way possible. He just feels so, so different to the rest of the rappers. Like, even in his own group, he feels so different to BM's verses as well. And I feel like that's always something I appreciate, you know, trying to stand out with your own flavor and own flow and own way of rapping. And that's once again the case here. But yeah, the chorus is nice, the verses are nice, the general sound design is really, really pretty. And again, it's sonically definitely summer vibey, but not just a summer song, you know? Man. <laughs> again, I kind of regret not having reacted to Iki just because of that one line he dropped back then. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember him even saying on Twitter that he loved seeing reactions to it as well. But yeah, I'm such a cool guy. The entire group is extremely lovable, but... Gorgeous! So nice! Big, big fan of the song, of the music video, of the aesthetic. I, like mentioned, really hope that they will finally be able to get their first win. It's so long overdue, okay? Like, if it was overdue for Dreamcatcher, then it's overdue for Code as well. Um, and, like mentioned, I know it's because Koei groups are just not that popular, especially in Korea, but these guys and girls are so talented, such a unique and fun group dynamic. I enjoy the music so much, I enjoy the song a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to both from S9 and Card, and I will see you soon. We're going to have reactions. We got Lisa coming out on Thursday, and so much more. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you soon. Bye.